Okay, so this video is going to be about creating some accurate bevel gears in Fusion 360, but using as a base spur gears, because I had a look around on the internet and I found that a lot of people were kind of creating these things from scratch, yet there's this beautiful add-in that creates spur gears that have got all of the right characteristics. So in this particular case, I only want... Um, two millimeter teeth 24 is going to be fine uh, the thickness I'm going to project off of this thing so I only need one millimeter and I'm actually going to use it with a stepper motor so a six millimeter hole is fine so the uh, root fillet radius needs to come down to 1.18 and I'd like you to see at the bottom here there's a pitch radius of 48 millimeters so we hit create and we get this kind of uh, macro that runs within the program and we can't do much with it because we can't break it open and break the str you can't edit those sketches so what i'm going to do is create a sketch on a face and i'm going to use the particular property that it picks up the geometry of the face that it's on so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this geometry um, onto another plane onto an offset plane and then we're going to scale this offset plane down so I need to stop the sketch and then from here I need to create a uh, an offset plane offset plane and the offset plane I'm going to make it 20 millimeters not going to be a huge gear but you will kind of get the idea so there we go there's the offset plane we need to create a sketch on that offset plane and then we need to paste back the geometry so there we go we've got the geometry in two places now we have to do a sketch scale of this geometry um, or oh, I'm going to switch on the origin because I found that if you do a sketch scale without the origin it's really difficult to to sort this out so I'm going to select this and then to select the point I'm going to hold the mouse button down until it gives me this little menu then I'm going to choose origin at the end and now instead of hitting um, the factor I'm going to work it out I couldn't work out how to do this in expressions I had a good go at this but every time I put a non um, united thing in it gave me grief but anyway this is the number that I want so this is the expression I would have put into Fusion 360 if I could have done so here we go let's uh, let's sort this out uh, I think we might have to just do this again right okay fine so scale sketch scale select that lot select the middle hold down the button slide down to the origin and then we're going to paste in that value we got from that little bit of Python which is that value there okay so now we can create a loft between the first sketch and the second sketch. So let's just make sure that those switched on. They are. Yep. Hang on. Got to stop sketch, otherwise it won't uh, won't give you the loft properly. So we select the back one. We select the front one, which takes a little bit of while to s select, particularly on a slow machine. There we go. It's selected. New body. Okay. And at this point, we're going to lose the hole. So what we've got to do is slide the thing around, make sure that our second sketch, as it was, not that one, we need to go to this sketch here, make sure that the second sketch is switched on, and then we need to select this. I think I might have to just rotate it a little bit. We need to select this thing, zoom in a bit and rotate it. Come on, that's better. We need to select this and then we can push that through there 21 millimeters so it cuts through the other side and I'm gonna call this thing gear so this is kind of a harsh thing at the moment so what I want to do is round off all of these corners so it looks a bit nicer I'm going to SLA print this in the end in fact I'm gonna SLA print a pair of them because I want a slight angle right okay so 
let's get this sorted out. I want to get a sketch in a particular direction. This is the direction. No, I don't. I want to turn it around. There we go. And let's switch the bodies back on so I can see what I'm doing. That's great. Let's now create a sketch in this plane. And having done that, let's switch the body back on. And we're going to do something really simple. We're just going to put some lines, rough lines around. Uh, there we go. We're just going to trace out the corners of the of the gear here. Yeah. Sometimes you have to zoom in, otherwise Fusion 360 chooses a point of its own. That'll be fine. Somewhere out there. And then we just need to complete this thing so it's a profile which we're going to create or evolve in in the end. Yeah, just zoom out. So here we go. Give it a bit of space, bit of space, bit of space. And that should go like that. So we now got a profile. So let's switch off the body so we can see what we've got. Oops, switch off the body and make sure we can see the axis. Oh, sorry. Let's fillet the thing first. Um, I'm going to use 1.5 millimeter fillet here and here. Yeah, job done. Tick. Yep, yeah, that looks about right. Uh, stop sketch. Otherwise, once again, you won't be able to do the revolve. And then just pull this thing around so that we can see the bits that we're going to revolve against. So we're going to create this thing as a tool, effectively. So we're going to create a revolve of this profile against against that axis there I don't think that's no that's not the that's, ah it's not obvious which one it is let's swing it around yes yeah, so it is the blue axis against the blue axis and then create a new body and we name this body uh, effectively the cutter because we're going to use this to cut the gear Right, so finally what we've got to do is combine those two things. So oh, we've got the wrong, that's it. That's that's the target body. This is the tool body, the cutter. And we're going to cut these. And what's going to happen, of course, is things disappeared. So let's re-enable the gear. And there's our gear. So this gear's got all the right pressure angles. It's got the right little slope in so that we can bring two of them together. And... Uh, yeah, that will be a good, strong, functional gear. Now, for the actual thing I'm going to make, I need two of these. So let's just um, see what two of them look like. So here's two of them look like, and you can see, I'm just going to rotate them around, that they're meshing absolutely double perfectly. And I'll, I'll make these, actually. I might, I might even... Uh, post a video of them made because I actually want to see what the functional strength of SLA parts are. Anyway, there you were and there it was.